since Epic Games changed from Arena to Rank, me as well as loads of you guys really wanted to know how it worked. And with so many changes, tweaks, and testing later, I posted a TikTok video breaking down how gaining points really worked. And you guys loved it. And since then, I've been testing endlessly, try and work out the ins and outs, and I've finally figured it out. And I'm going to break out the five-step formula on how the rank system really works. Formula number one losing points for any rank system to work there needs to be an element of gaining as well as losing points and fortnite is no different every game usually has something called an mmr this is usually a number most of the time though it's a hidden number that is associated to your skill this will help decide whether you should gain or lose more points as well as what rank you should be in and also helps match you into the correct lobbies but in fortnite they decided rather than giving each person an individual MMR that is hidden your MMR is actually public and this is literally just your rank so when entering into a game you will lose a certain percent of points based on your rank which is pretty much just a bus fare so a plat player might lose five percent points where a champion player might lose 30 percent points and for a long time this was just a solid number this number did not change much apart from if you went up or down ranks and over time epic games realized this was absolutely ridiculous and it meant players would drop super high kill games who were obviously in the wrong ranks then all it would take was two or three losses off spawn and they ended up losing all those points they just gained meaning you could play 30 minutes of a game to gain 40 percent points just to lose them all in two games in five minutes so to counter this problem they had they decided to add a consistency bonus and this is what's currently in the game now this works two ways based on how many points you gained in your last game you'll be associated a bonus this means if you drop a super high kill game gaining a ton of points the next game died off spawn you will lose less points than the average for your rank and that's why some games you might lose five percent points for zero kills and the next game you might lose ten percent to explain this properly let's say you're in platinum free rank and the average points you lose are seven percent and you just dropped a 10 kill win and gained a ton of points rather than losing seven percent if you die straight away you will only lose three percent this is to reward players who are in the wrong rank and get people to the rank they're supposed to be and we've seen in games like valorant if you can consistently drop super high kill games you could even skip whole rank unfortunately this is not in fortnite so you won't be skipping from diamond to champion anytime soon but there is one final factor that will impact how many points you lose and that is the rank of the player that kills you. Let's say we're losing 3% rank points for our death of spawn, but we die to a player who is in a higher rank than us. This number will be lowered even more. So rather than losing 3%, we will lose 1%. This is because Fortnite do not expect us to win this fight. So rather than punishing you super hard like that, they decide to actually help you out. As good as this is when we die to a higher rank, this also works the other way. If you die to a player in a lower rank than you, let's say we're back at that 3% for death of spawn, we might lose 7% instead. Now we know exactly how losing points works and what impacts it, let's get into a formula number two. And this is kill points. There are two things that impact kill points in the game, and I think everyone knows by now you gain the most points based on kills. And as you go up ranks, you probably wonder, why do I seem to gain a lot less points? And the reason behind it is to make getting to Unreal rank harder. And to make it more challenging, they decided to do two things. One, they bumped up the amount of points you lose. Then the second thing they did is decrease the points you get for a kill, as well as placement. Similar to how I said before, each rank is associated a set amount of points they lose when entering the game, but a few things impact how many points you specifically gain. Number one, the rank of the other player. If a player is a higher or lower rank than you, this will have a significant impact on the points you gain when killing them. I think this will make one of the most noticeable differences, especially in them higher ranks like Elite and Champion. When I was in Elite rank taking out Unreal rank players, I would gain a massive amount of points than if I took out a Diamond rank player. 
This is because, again, Fortnite do not expect you to win a fight against an Unreal Rank player when you're only an Elite. So when winning it, you will be rewarded with a massive bonus. I think the bonus as a champion player killing an Unreal Rank player can even be something like up to 15% points, which can be absolutely massive for the rank you're in. And the final part that affects how many points you gain per kill is actually how many players are alive in the lobby. To reward players to play for endgame, Epic Games decided to give more points for getting kills later on in the game. Even though most people know this, they assumed it's just broken up into early, mid and end game, but that is actually not true. How it really works is over most big milestones, so we're talking top 75, 60, 50, 40 and so on and so on, the amount of points you get per kill goes up. Let's say you're in plat and you get around 5% for a kill. As it drops to 75 players, you might gain 7%. And then as it drops to 50, you might gain 9%. But the biggest reward comes later on. So the amount of points you gain from a top 25 to top 10 might go to 15 to 20% per kill, meaning kills later on will reward you much more than off spawn. Especially when we're getting towards them higher ranks, them off spawn kills are near enough pointless for you, especially with the big burst bear. Have you ever had the problem where you just light a player up, maybe you hit them for 180 damage and someone steals your kill? Well, the truth is you actually share the points with them. So let's say 10% points are up for grabs, you hit them for 90% of the damage and your opponent hits them for 10% stealing that kill. You will then go and gain 90% of them points giving you 9%. So hitting as many players as you can with an AR off spawn can actually be more beneficial than you think. This season Epic Games seem to be rewarding players a lot heavier for killing people. This is to stop the recent surge in players camping to unreal rank like bush camp dad they took advantage of something that has been removed this season in regards to damage taken fortnite decided to give bonus points to players for not taking damage and this bonus was rather big so this means fully camping is no longer effective as this has fully been removed from the game but to stop players from dropping 20 bombs gaining so many points i'm fairly sure they actually have a cap on the amount of points you can gain and that's been added this season i've had games where i dropped 13 14 kill games and gained just over 100 percent something around the 106 to 108 percent mark and then i've had games where i've dropped 20 to 25 kills and again pretty much the same amount i think this is a new mechanic that has been added with chapter 5 season 2 but exactly how many kills it seems to cap it around i am unsure i'm yet to fully test this out to see its full potential but as soon as i finish my testing i'll make sure to update you all on tiktok but from what i figured this seems to be the case so don't worry too much especially in duos about getting them super duper high kill wins just focus on getting around 10 to 15 and that brings us nicely onto formula number three placement points it's a common misconception that you don't gain any placement points at all the amount of times i see people posting i got top five with no kills and lost points so that means placement isn't a thing and the reason why you actually get that is because most of the time your placement points just cancel out your bus fare especially if you've had a few off spawn deaths in a row your consistency bonus will be very low which i'll talk more on about in a minute when you're in them low ranks just making it to top 25 will probably gain you points but as soon as you're getting around plat especially diamond and above playing solely for placement is not going to work especially with the bonus for taking no damage being taken out the game it's going to be near enough impossible to get to unreal rank just by camp which is why they actually boosted the points you get for kill so to make sure you're using this to your advantage as we've seen in the older rank systems as well the higher the rank you are the less placement points you gain Epic Games really wanted to emphasise the fact that hitting on real rank is meant to be an achievement. And they specifically said that with the multiple tweaks and blog posts they've made to rank. But when they say that, in essence, what they're trying to say is all they're going to do is give you less points. As that is the best way to make it harder. So stop relying on them placement points and start getting some kills. Formula 4 brings us on to objectives. Now, this is a bit of a controversial one in terms of whether they do or whether they don't gain points and i think everyone's kind of got their opinions on but when the fortnite og season came out center islands went as well as all the cash
flashes and radio towers and there was one thing that stood out and that was the fact that we was getting near enough double the points with them gone which means you've definitely got to have some sort of points for claiming objectives with the loot island giving you the most looking at how many points they give you in tournaments it's estimated to be a fair few i've been testing it for the forecast towers a fair bit and i definitely do think they reward you some sort of incentive for gaining it definitely nowhere near as much as that center island but if there's a forecast tower near you it's definitely worth going for one i estimate the points to be around four to five percent for the forecast tower and we're looking more towards that 10 to 15 percent for the center island but obviously the exact numbers of these are unknown and finally formula five and this is consistency if you don't know already the higher the rank you are the more epic games expects you to get towards them later zones and as they know, everyone in champion rank is more than capable of making it towards top 10 or better. So this means they will reward you heavily for doing so and also punish you hard for not doing so. Meaning once you get to elite rank and champion rank, you will struggle massively to get points if you are not consistent. This means you need to consistently get to endgame and limit how many times you die off spawn. If you actually want to gain points, and be rewarded by the rank system. Dying off spawn in them higher ranked is a big no as it will mess your points multiplier up resulting in big losses of points for dying off spawn and less points for good games. This is why I recommend everyone once they get them higher ranks we're talking elite or champion or even diamond if that is the rank you start struggling in you need to make sure you have a solid drop spot that you can win 99% of the time whether that is one pure eye that you're super good at or whether that's a tiny house on the outskirts of the map. Anyway i hope this cleared some things up about the rank system ask any comment you still may have down below as i do respond to all comments and if you like this video you may also like this video on the screen now